Hello guys, my name is David Hooker. Today I wanted to kind of just reflect on my life and the things going on in it. But what really motivated me to do this was that it's healthy for me. Basically ever since I was growing up, I always wanted closure and I always used to say I wanted like a twin brother and pretty much what I meant by that was is I always wanted that person that strong bond like a strong bond you would see between twins like how they both get each other how they both know each other how they're both familiar with each other how it's like around each other they feel like they just connect it's just instant like an instant click that's literally what I always wanted in my life was that instant click with someone and with my own siblings and my parents I didn't really have that connection and growing up I was very like emotionally distant from my family and from my friends um I didn't really click with people well at least the people I hang around I couldn't say people in general but I really didn't click um I was very desperate for that. That's been like a deep desire for a long time is that closure. And oftentimes, you know, being desperate for for anything is not good because I settled for toxic friends. I settled for people that mistreated me and people that took advantage of me because they knew what I wanted. They knew I wanted closure. They knew I wanted all these things. So because they knew what I wanted, they used my desire to they used that against me it's like the same as using your emotions against you people if they say it's like kind of like i have what you want so do as i say and you will get this pretty much so you almost become a slave to your desire and you would do anything for it which is not good um that's kind of one of the things i used to i came up with a quote one of the things i said was don't become a slave to your desire because once you become a slave to your desire you are no longer in control your desire is in control of you but yeah earlier on in my childhood i've had that and i've had like um what is it called I think it was abandonment anxiety. I think that's what it is. Like I had a fear of being abandoned because I felt neglected emotionally and I didn't like always feeling distant or like I'm gonna lose somebody close to me. So therefore I would try to stay interesting the best way I can or pretty much overextend myself or do all this different stuff to try to stay interesting to someone that didn't even really care for me to begin with. So it's just crazy. Life for me emotionally is very chaotic. You know, um, I like I used to like to think of myself as a real like a well-rounded individual. I like to think of myself that way sometimes. But in actuality, I don't think I'm that well-rounded. And it's because a lot of my internal desires, a lot of what I want has power over me. Like, even my emotions have power over me. And I've always wanted that self-control over my emotions, but they tend to always get the better of me because of how absent from emotional connection I felt and how bad I want it but from all the people I'm seeking it from I mean it's I'm not getting it it's because it's not real like I've downloaded so many apps so many dating making friend apps any kind of app that involve like connecting with someone else I've downloaded and it's no luck sometimes completely no luck and I put money into the apps and everything and 
me and these people were either talking text and then drift apart or they're all you know far away they're in a whole nother country thousands of miles away so i know that's not gonna work because i have no money or anything or a way to get to them or we're close but they have no intention on getting any closer so it's just a waste of time and then sometimes i mean i'm not gonna say all dating and making friend apps are bad because there's people that's had great luck with those kind of apps but not me (laughs) i haven't had the best luck with those kind of apps some people they will tell me like hey if you want to see me you have to pay for my gas or you have to pay for this and that and they'll try to pretty much use what i want against me to try to get money out of me or like benefit from me in some way so in a way they'll take advantage of me it's another way of using my desires against me a uh, way of manipulation again you know but um it's been tough like um in the process of moving my my parents lost my birth certificate so that kind of was a major setback especially when it came to college and work and a lot of things that I wanted to pursue at first but at the same time I wouldn't really say I regret that happening even though I didn't have any power over it but it I'm happy that I didn't get to go to college and get all this stuff and pursue this kind of career or whatever because I wanted to truly know how people would treat me if they couldn't get money out of me if they if I didn't have all these external qualities I wonder how people would treat me if it was just me without anything and when I figured out how people would treat me if I didn't have anything it really shows you who really cares about you and who doesn't who would be with you if you had nothing if you were at ground zero who would be with you it it really showed me that like if you didn't have anything who will respect you who would be with you it showed me that a lot of people if you don't have what they want and if people can't get something out of you sometimes then you're useless to them because some people love you for you but some people love you for what they can get from you so it's not really love it's almost like I'm sticking with you as long as I can leech off of your benefits off of what you have you know and so I discovered that that a lot of people that I hang around don't really care about me they cared about like what I had the type of person I wanted to be will be a role model Um, ever since I was little I had a passion to help people and um, I always wanted to be like a hero, like a real life hero, not one of the nonfiction ones like Marvel or anything, anybody that has supernatural powers. I I wanted to be an actual hero. I wanted to help people. I wanted to build like an uh, entire organization and make millions of dollars in this donate like big chunks of money to charities and help poverty or people in famine or just like this make an meaningful impact on the world that's my definition of meaningful is when you make an impact of change on the world you know and that passion to help people has been in my heart ever since I was young I've always wanted to do that and um, there's been times I would say I've gotten off track because of other things I wanted like attention and love and care and all this because as vulnerable and expressive as I am I didn't have a vulnerable and expressive family everybody is very suppressed everybody really holds in emotions and they don't communicate them very well you know so it's it's hard to get emotional with my family or even with my friends is it's hard but I never shy away from telling them I love them every now and again even when it feels kind of uncomfortable because we don't really say it much but I try to let them know I love them because I feel like tomorrow isn't promised 
and since tomorrow isn't promised and time is valuable I don't want to regret not telling them how much I care and appreciate them and love them I will want them to remember that until the day they're gone I truly do care about a lot of people I don't believe anybody is really bad I believe some people choose the wrong path and some people just give up on themselves and say hey there's no point in trying anymore and they just give in to pain and then that's all they want to see at some point they just some people just choose to hurt and then there's those who choose to heal truly I just want to be able to heal people help people connect with people make friends have a community and a community that's built off of love and connection and care and gratitude and all and all the finer things because I feel like that matters more than anything I, I want to be content and I want to be happy and I know there's a lot of other people that feel that way too and um, there's a lot of people that get hurt and they suffer from trauma or abuse or anything and they allow that to be the highlight of their life because they keep it at the forefront of their mind that trauma and abuse and they continue to remind themselves of what hurt them and I'm guilty of that too I talk about what hurts me and that becomes the forefront of my mind rather than and that and that limits how long I'm happy but if I was to change that negative thought pattern and keep something positive in the forefront of my mind rather than negative I will be living a totally different way and so it's kind of like I encourage people who have been through a lot of abuse and a lot of adversity in their life and a lot of these things to not make the problems the forefront of your mind it's like don't let the problems define you even it's like I, I get it though I get how serious problems can be how serious circumstances can be but you have to keep hope you got to keep faith you know in love because I feel like the only thing you know keeping something negative in the front of your mind can lead to is destruction you know there's nothing good coming out of that if there's anything I wouldn't want to deal with it would be holding the guilt of not allowing myself to live a happy life or make people happy because I don't want to waste time on this earth or in my life just dwelling on things that hurt me because time is very valuable I don't know I felt this in my heart to share felt this in my heart at night <laughs> I don't know what it is but ideas go through my head at night <laughs> out of all the time periods is at night I love all you people anyone listening to this I love you I hope you have an abundance of love I hope that anything that bad happened to you that something good comes in return out of it two times greater than what happened I love you guys. Bye.